Welcome back to and this guide. In today's video, we are going to show you how to connect Webflow to WordPress. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in WordPress, I need you to click the Get Started option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Connecting Webflow to WordPress typically involves transferring content and design elements from Webflow to a WordPress site rather than a direct integration because the two platforms serve different purposes and do not natively integrate. But the thing is, we are here, of course, to explore on how you connect both of these platforms. Now, for one, for example, I'm working on this specific uh, site. All you're going to do is click on the publish if you haven't already. All right. Click that and publish selected domains. For example, here, we're going to get the advanced options. You can enable SSL, minify HTML, minify CSS, and minify JS. Now, there is a manual option to convert from HTML to WordPress theme. You can convert your exported HTML, CSS, and JavaScript into a WordPress, right? Of course, this involves creating a theme file such as header.php, footer.php, index.php, and integrating your Webflow code into these files. But the thing is, for you to be able to do that, you need to have this option from an upgraded plan because for you to utilize and unlock the uh, limitations here in webflow you might want to go to the basic plan which is best for launching a simple site because i am right now on the starter pack and i can't uh, move forward and progress with it because it's a manual conversion if you have any coding background or the technical expertise in doing this matter you might want to go for the basic which is 40 dollars per month build yearly and again it's best for launching a simple site you can of course get a free custom domain a basic site and all of these perks and privileges that you can take advantage all right now the next uh, option that you can explore is you can simply go to the uh, dashboard again to the webflow and the mini here and you have all these multiple templates that you can work with if you click on the uh, view dashboard you would be forwarded here and if you wanted to create a new site you can start doing so from scratch of course they have a template where you can use for example i'm going to be using the momentum you can select you can a preview template to make sure that this is going to be the template that you wanted you see that one if you want it use this template but when i use that and create a site click on that once um, everything is already set up, the next thing that you need to do is to switch over to your WordPress. And this one, right? I need you to click on publish. You can simply add a custom domain if you wanted for that. And you would be forwarded here again to the same site that we have uh, reached earlier. I'm going to switch over to the WordPress. Now, I need you to switch over to the left side panel of your dashboard here in WordPress. I want you to click on the plugins and I want you to type in on the search bar that's going to be Webflow. Now, once you have chosen the Webflow, you see this is the Webflow pages, a visual page builder. Okay, just click on it. Now, the thing is, you need to upgrade and activate the free on business plan for you to be able to integrate this platform all right now as you can see when you do that you would be able to unlock the premium feature and the ability to have this plugin by upgrading to the business plan all right when you install the plugin theme or activating hosting features your domain will change but obviously it would be a lot easier to integrate the two within the wordpress platform but if you think it's going to be like a hassle for you you might want to test waters from other options which is using zapier because here you can simply connect webflow to wordpress and automate your work just click this connect these apps orange button and you can have all of these endless possibilities you can choose a trigger an event that starts an automation you can choose an action an event that automation performs after it's triggered 
I want you to click on this button right here. And then what will happen is it will be forwarded here on this app. We can rename that. And we go to the web of flow first because we need to choose an event for that. For example, it triggers when a new form submission occurs. Or you might want to go to the when triggers when a new order is placed or updated. So it's up to you. But for now, I'm going to choose the first one, the form submission. After that, you need to click the WordPress because we need to select the event after the trigger. For example, the event will happen is it creates a new post after a trigger or you might want to create a new user for that. It's all up to you. Once you click on the continue, what will happen is you would need to authenticate these apps by logging into both of your accounts here in Webflow and WordPress. After doing so, you see that one, we need to sign in. And of course, you just have to provide the base URL, username, and press on continue to WordPress. After that, all they're going to do is sit back and relax because a Zapier will do all the work for you. Now, another workflow that I searched online and discovered is the Nexus. Here, you can have awesome WordPress themes with Webflow. You can unlock the creative power by matching the best visual design tool to the most popular CMS in the world. Because if you leverage both of these platforms, obviously, you can create a unique user experience that leverages the strengths of both platforms. Right? So here, just launch the extension, export to convert, and that's that. Now, what I wanted to do is simply log in, try it now for free. You can simply start for free so that you can test the waters. And after that, you see, we have an option to Webflow to Shopify, Webflow to WordPress, which is going to be the next option. All right. Just have to log in using your credentials. And that's that. Okay. So here's, here's another platform that you can explore. It's by Make. You can connect Webflow and WordPress integrations. For example, you can select a trigger like triggers when one of the selected events occur. Click that. And of course, select an action from WordPress, like for example, create a category, simply click on this button to connect these apps. No credit card required, no time limit on free plan by signing up using your Google, your Facebook, and your GitHub. And by combining Webflow's custom design with WordPress content management, you can create a unique experience that leverages the strengths of both platforms. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.